Hello friends, let's learn about the unit 7 hyperlinks in web intelligence document. In this video, we will learn about the how hyperlinks can, uh, can be used in web intelligence document and how it is beneficial uh, while developing uh, complex reports and uh, other applications as well. So lesson one we will uh, see means how we can manage hyperlinks in web intelligence document. So in webby we can create hyperlinks to the following information source. The first thing is other documents such as documents in web intelligence or crystal reports and the second one is URL or websites. So URL may be any URL suppose by clicking on any of the label in the document we wanted to direct the users to the company's website or or any other help file like that. That way we can direct the users using the URL or websites. In the web intelligence desktop main window and reach internet application panel we can create hyperlinks to url or websites uh, using dialog box and other documents using open document command so there are two ways url or websites uh, using dialog box and the other one is op open document command uh, coming to lesson two managing hyperlinks in web intelligence uh, and reach internet application panel so uh, web intelligence re reach client tool is nothing but the standalone application and reach internet application panel will be from the web uh, bi launch pod we can see so the two ways like hyperlink to url in the hyperlink dialog box provides the same functionality for creating hyperlinks to url in web intelligence reach client main window and reach internet application panel so as the add hyperlink dialog box provides in html panel so whatever the add hyperlink dialog box provides that can be used in web intelligence reach client tool and in reach internet application panel as well we can customize the look and behavior of the hyperlink to display the web page in a new window or display a tool tip that describes the page or url when we move the cursor over the hyperlink so the way hyperlink should look that we can customize so now how we can create a hyperlink the first method is suppose on this report in a year on a year object or in a state object i wanted to create hyperlink so i can just select that particular column or a data and can go to the report element tab in the report element tab in linking section there is if you see this icon the, if you click on that arrow you will see I add hyperlink so once you click on that hyperlink the window will open which will uh, populate uh, or ask for the users to uh, enter the website means whatever the website we wanted to add. The other way is you see uh, in this uh, report element linking add hyperlink or we can just right click on that particular column we can say add hyperlink. Now dynamic filtering using element linking means we can dynamically filter the data whenever we are using element link linking. So in web intelligence we can pre present the information graphically and can also use element linking to filter the data dynamically at report level. That means whenever we are using a graphical data uh, reports like graphs, pie chart or column chart like that. So at that time also you can use the hyperlink for that particular uh, element in that particular chart or a graph and uh, we can dynamically uh, change the behavior of the chart. So uh, for example, we can display corporate data as a pie chart and to make the document even more powerful, you, you can link each slab of the pie chart to a detailed report of data. That means in a pie chart, if there are three slabs or four slabs separate separate, so each slab if you want to go on a detail level, we can give a hyperlink for that particular slab and then we can go once we click on that we will get into the detailed report. Now coming to lesson 3 uh, how we can manage uh, web hyperlinks in web intelligence interactive panel. So in link to other web intelligence document when used in a web viewing mode the web intelligence document in the BI launchpad we, you can create a hyperlink with the create hyperlink uh, dialog box. So whenever we are using web viewing mode that is uh, meant to be a bi launchpad we can create a hyperlink uh, 
by clicking on that create hyperlink dialog box and it will change dynamically to display the options that we can associate with the hyperlink so when we click on that add document link option the dialog box displays the field for the path to the document and browse button to help you browse the document so after choosing the document make selection from one of the following options whenever we are using add document option we need to select first uni uniform resource located that is locator that is url of a particular document to create a hyperlink we need to select refresh on open so whenever the document is open we need to select refresh on open link to a document instance then target an area within the document pass a prompt value means if you want to pass any prompt value to the document as a parameter that we can um, use that customize the look and behavior means if you want to customize the look and behavior of the hyperlink maybe change of the font or style that we can change it now see how we can uh, change means when we are using web viewing mode that uh, in the web uh, bi launch pad in the in the report you will get this option means once you right click on this linking is their option and there is a add document link option once we click on this we get a hyperlink page this first window we see link to web page or link to document so first in first tab we need to specify the url suppose we want to specify an url so we can just give http colon slash slash whatever the url name that we can give there and in the second tab which is link to document here if you see there, there once we click on this this is the window which will go open and we uh, we get a option here to choose a document name uh, we can browse it and we can just select any any of the document which wanted to have uh, link and then we need to specify the hyperlink uh, properties use a complete url part to create hyperlink so if you want to have the complete url of that particular uh, report url that we can uh, we can select this option otherwise you can keep uh, unchecked refresh on open means whenever we run the report it it will automatically refresh first time when we open link to a document instance so the third option which will uh, it will link to the document instance of the repo, uh, report then target area within the document means once we click on that um, mm, uh, link the page will open the the page will open on the same document if we, if you want to open is the same document then we will select this target area within the document otherwise if you don't want then means we want we can say target window as new window here it has been specified we can specify tool tip if you want to specify and document format means we can choose it uh, the pdf or excel or uh, web intelligence document okay so after applying means if you see this is on quarter objects means if you see uh, once we click on this uh, this is a hyperlink uh, which is connecting to the other document so if you see this is the document which is created and the hyperlink if you see in the formula toolbar which is here you see href open doc open document dsp whatever the document it is it is automatically uh, generated by the web intelligence tool okay so this is all about how hyperlinks uh, hi how we can hyperlink uh, the to the documents and the to the urls uh, let's uh, check our understanding in the web intelligence desktop menu window and reach internet application panel how do you create hyperlinks to the urls or website so there are two ways we can uh, use from the report element tab let's see means what is the answer and then which view option do you need to set in the web intelligence preferences before you can create an hyperlink to document okay so by using a dialog box we can uh, create a hyperlink to the url or website and the second uh, second question was which view option do you need to set in the web intelligence preferences before you can create hyperlink to a document so html preference we need to select which is which is about no download required and this is we can set in web intelligence pi launchpad preferences uh, setting so what it will do it will have this reach client 
viewing mode so that we can it will enable to add a hyperlink to a document okay this is all about uh, hyperlinks in web intelligence document i hope you have understood this concepts if you have any questions please put it in a comment section i will happy to answer it if you like my video then please like it if please subscribe to my video uh, video or a channel so that you will get to know about my next video thank you for uh, watching